All right, guys, we got a uh, 2013 Dodge Durango. We're about to uh, do the brake pads on it. I'm about to check out the rotors, see if those need to be replaced. It's kind of an emergency, so we're gonna, we're gonna kind of uh, do things uh, expeditiously. So we're gonna see how that go. Make sure you hit that like button. Subscribe to my channel, man. Support your boy. We out here. We out here together, you know? All right, we got her up in the air. On the curb, as you can see. Thugging it out big time. About to get the tire off. Got our, uh, we got our special wood lock key we have to search high and low for. Got that on deck, you know? About to go ahead and switch them Jones. We switching them bitches. Brand new lug nuts. We ain't, we ain't messing around. Brand new lug nuts. Yeah. We gonna do brand new lug nuts. Yep, got her in the air. No lift right now. We thugging it out. No lift. We thugging it out on the side of the road. See how we doing it. All right, y'all. Now this part right here, this part, this bracket right here, you just see the flathead. You just stick this bitch in here and just, oh damn, I ain't got my safety glasses. Let me go get my safety glasses real quick. One second. Let me go get my safety. All right, we back. I got my safety glasses. Let me pop this bitch out right here. There we go. That bitch go back in there like that. So these go, these two motherfuckers go in here. Boot. And then these two rubber boots in the back right here. You got one here. And then you got one right, right there. Go right here. Ooh. So we're gonna go ahead and pop those out. We got, I think, I believe those, it's, it's like a hex bit, let's see. If you can see that up in there, that's like a hex bit. It's like a, uh, let me see, I think it's a 10, 10 mil, 10 mil hex. One of those. Okay, this, this is a shitty ratchet. Let me go get another ratchet. All right. Teacher always told me he dang before I put those uh I'm supposed to see if those pistons inside this caliber is able to release. He used to tell us with a screwdriver to stick it in there and see if those push, pistons push back in this caliber. If this caliber is loose, you know your pistons is good. 
But if they don't, if they if they if they don't loosen up, then you know your caliber is seized up. But she loose though. She ready. She about to come on. I was about to buy some new uh, rotors too, but these rotors look pretty good. It was squeaking though, I, I ain't gonna lie. It was squeaking. Oh, I might have to, uh, yeah, we might have to remove this um, little speed sensor right here. So it don't get, so it don't get stressed out, you know? Let me just pop that back in. Right there. Make sure you don't stress this brake hose. And then yeah, it was it was getting pretty low. It was squeaking. And the other one is is inside the uh, caliber there. Okay, we got our new caliber, or I'm sorry. We got our new uh, brake pads here. And this goes in just like this. And this part right here is your, uh, I forgot what they call it, a scrape sensor. But it's designed to, uh, when this part right here, when this part get low, this part scrapes up against your rotor and makes a weird noise to let you know that it's time to change these. Yeah. See how see that gap right there? So when it wear down, this right here gets closer to this rotor and lets you know it's gonna make a weird sound. It's gonna let you know that it's time to change some pads. And then the other one. Other one here. See that they, the little, it's like little metal clips that clips into the cylinders here in the uh, caliber. Got a new one here. We got a new one. Go ahead and flip her around. Grab this caliber here. Ooh. Oh, what one here? Okay. All right. I'm gonna have to switch this bitch around. Just like that. Oh yeah, my, I need the. Uh, I see. I need the C clamp. I need the C clamp to uh, push this back in. I forgot about that. Let me go grab a seat clamp real quick. We need him right there. Let me grab a seat clamp. Yeah, so we don't have a seat clamp right now, so we gotta use what we gotta use. We're gonna do it like this. Let me pop this hood real quick so I can. Can take the uh, the cap off of the uh, brake fluid reservoir, so the fluid can easily push up into back into the reservoir when I apply pressure on this caliber here. So as I apply pressure on this caliber, the fluid is gonna go back through this hose here, all the way back up to that reservoir there. 
as your brakes wear out, this pushes out and your brakes become smaller and smaller and smaller and smaller and this comes out more and more and more and more and that fluid up there goes down. So we put new pads in here. So this right here is gonna go back in and that fluid is gonna go back in up there. So an easy telltale sign to know that you need pads is to check your brake fluid level. So if your brake fluid level low, that's a good telltale sign to know that you need um, that your pads are bad, that your pads are going down. You see? Alright, let's okay, let's, let's try this technique here. Yeah. Wish I had somebody hold this thing on camera. C-clamp for this. <clears throat> but unfortunately we don't have a C-clamp right now, so we're doing it manually. See, as you can see, it, it went in a little bit. You got it? Yeah, but it was faster the last time. Last time it was already on the phone. Oh, yeah? Maybe your job might have did it for you. Yeah, I probably got a week. You didn't get it yet? No, no, I ain't got it for Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, I got a week for this week. Okay, okay. I'll get, okay, I'm glad you got that one. Huh? Oh, I'll give you a cigarette. All right, we finally got the pistons pushed back in. You got the caliber in, and you just take it here, slide it on just like that. Slide that thing straight on. Then go ahead and tighten these down. Oop, let me uh, make sure I got it on tight. Oh, that's on reverse. ABS sensor, wheel speed sensor back together. Pop her back in. Make sure she happy. There you go. Pop her in. Once she happy, you good to go, baby. You good to go. Make sure everything tight. Always double check your work. Always double check your work. Everything good, ABS sensor, both, both fasteners. And now let's get this thing on, bracket in. This boy here. See, this, this part right here goes in this top hole, and this bottom one here goes in this bottom hole. 
All right, she in. So what I had to do was I lined it up here and then I lined it up here and then I just applied pressure to the back end right there and kind of like slid it on like that. Like, you know, went that way and it went on. So this side here is complete. Now we're gonna slap the tire back on and go to the other side. Yeah, we got her back in. I'm about to put that little last piece in right there. You know, it's a quick, See, it was a quick, it was a quick, simple job, you know, in the, in the hot South Carolina summer, you know, quick, simple job on the 2013 Dodge Durango. It's, it's simple. You know, it took me like, like 15 minutes, not even 20 minutes, not even, not even, but uh, thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Leave a like below. Make sure you comment below. Let me know what I did right. Let me know what I did wrong. Appreciate y'all watching. Till next time. It's your boy BMR. Make sure you get money.